All right, so there are many types of reactions that there are in the world. Um, and in class, you probably have a list of five main types of reactions you're going to have to know. Okay? And you're probably going to have to predict the products of those reactions when you see them, when you see just the reactants. So let's figure out how we're going to go about doing this. Okay. I listed up here all the five different types of reactions that you're going to see in class. Okay? And we have hints on how we can figure out which one is which. Okay? So you have synthesis reaction. Synthesis is another way of saying I'm making something, I'm synthesizing something. We're just going to make one product. So anytime you see one single product, you know automatically synthesis. Okay? Next thing, next uh, type of reaction we have is decomposition, when something decomposes, when one thing decomposes into several things. So that's one thing, that's one reactant. Anytime you see one reactant, you're going to know in your head, decomposition. Next type of reaction is single replacement reaction. And the way you'll recognize that is if you have an element and a compound, uh, typically the compound, not typically, always, the compound will be an ionic compound, um, is going to produce another element and another compound. Okay? So that's a single replacement reaction. Double replacement reaction is two ionic compounds coming together and switching partners. Okay? So if you notice that, compound, compound plus compound yielding another compound plus another compound, you're going to know in your head, double replacement reaction, two things are switching places. Lastly, you're going to have the combustion reaction. Combustion reactions are the easiest. Um, they are hydrocarbon reacting with oxygen to produce, these are always your, um, your products, carbon dioxide and water. Um, that is your most typical form of a combustion reaction, but don't forget anything that reacts with oxygen gas will, will also be classified as combustion. All right, so let's take this into action. All right, so let's say we have, we have the reactant silver nitrate and potassium phosphate. Let's write out those um, in uh, equation form. Let's say if silver nitrate, which we know is a plus one charge, nitrate is a minus one charge, so silver nitrate, AgNO3, plus potassium phosphate, potassium is a plus one, phosphate is a minus three, so we're going to say K3PO4. Um, and they are two um, compounds, and those are two ionic compounds. So you're like, all right, which one is it? Uh, you're going to look up at your list, you're going to say, oh, double replacement. So I'm going to write DR, just... Uh, to make it simple, okay? And we're going to figure out the products for these. So we remember that they just switch partners, okay? So the metal is going to go with the new, uh, new non-metal, in this case PO4, and K is going to bond with NO3. So we're going to have um, Ag is a plus one, sorry, PO4 is a minus three, so you're going to have Ag3 PO4 plus K is a plus one, NO3 is a minus one, K, NO3. Don't forget to, don't worry about the, the subscripts in this. Um, We'll take care of that when we balance it, which is right now. So we have three silvers on this side. We need three silvers on this side. Uh, we have one nitrate on this side, one nitrate, three potassiums. Oh, yeah, so actually, sorry, this actually is balanced. Three silvers, three silvers, three potassiums, three potassiums, one phosphate, one phosphate, three nitrates, three nitrates. Oh, yeah, three nitrates. Perfect. Okay, so this is how we can uh, identify if this is a double replacement reaction. Let's go to another one. Let's say we have potassium carbonate. Something should be dinging off in your head. This is a single reactant. Single reactant, what is that? That's going to be decomposition. So we're going to just put decomp. I know in my head this is decomposition. So potassium carbonate, most of the time you're not going to be able to predict these type of reactions. They're very difficult to predict. I'll, um, I'll just write this out for you. Potassium carbonate is K2CO3. And this is actually going to break down into K2, um, K2O plus CO2. Um, and this is actually pretty difficult to actually predict the products, but most, like, most uh, uh, skill that you're going to need is going to be able to identify that this is a decomposition reaction. Let's go to the next one. We have butane plus oxygen. Oh, oxygen, cling, cling, cling. That should ding, ding something off in your head. Combustion reaction, and notice also butane is a hydrocarbon. You might not know that butane is a hydrocarbon, but I'll let you know that butane is C4H10, hydrocarbon, plus oxygen gas, we know oxygen is O2, and it always, always, always forms CO2 plus H2O. That's easy, easy, easy. So this is a combustion reaction. Okay. Now, um, next one we have is sodium iodide and bromine. We have an ionic compound coming together with an element. Um, that should ding in your head as, okay, that is a uh, single replacement reaction. I'm just going to put SR. Um, <clears throat> so what's going to happen is this non-metal is going to replace this non-metal. Don't forget that non-metals replace non-metals and metals replace metals. So we're going to have sodium iodide plus bromine gas 
is going to yield, these are going to replace each other, so iodine is now going to be on its own. Don't forget iodine is a diatomic, so it's going to be um, I2 plus NaBr. Okay, and I'm not gonna, I haven't balanced this one or this one, I'm just going to um, save that for another time. I just want to make sure that we understand how we get these products and be able to identify what type of reaction this is. But I did want to note that these are not balanced yet. Um, hydrogen and chlorine coming together, and we have H2, because don't forget, hydrogen is a diatomic, and chlorine, Cl2, chlorine is also a diatomic. Um, they are two elements coming together, and what the only thing they can possibly do is make a single product, HCl, and what kind of reaction is that? When there's a single product, that is a synthesis reaction, or combination reaction, whichever one your teacher uses. I hate spelled, yes. Okay, so um, hopefully these tends will help you in predicting the actual products of reactions and also the different types of reactions that you're going to see.